Straight from the rubber tree to the factory, forklifts bring blocks of rubber into the manufacturing plant. Colored fins require light colored rubber, while black fins use darker rubber. Mixers combine the raw rubber with chemicals that vary the color, consistency, and quality of the finished rubber. The friction of the rollers and the added chemicals combine to melt the rubber into a mushy dough. Conveyor belts move the rubber from the original masticating machine to the mill. The mill cools the rubber while workers mix in chemicals that allow the rubber to vulcanize in the mold. Additives to the rubber give it strength, flexibility, protection from cracking, and stiffness. Rubber comes off the mill roller in varying thicknesses. Roller pressure controls that thickness. A soapy water mix cools the sheets of rubber further and prevents them from sticking together. Workers cut strips of the rubber from the sheets to the size necessary for molding. Two different mixtures of rubber go into each fin. A softer, more flexible mixture makes up the foot pocket and a stiff compound makes up the fin blade. A 600 ton press molds the rubber blocks into fins in 20 minutes. Eight molds in each press heat to 149 degrees Celsius 300 degrees Fahrenheit at two different pressures. Low pressure, that is 34 bar, 500 pounds per square inch, softens the rubber and prepares it for the final mold. High pressure at 219 kilograms per square centimeter, 3,000 pounds per square inch, squeezes the rubber into the finished product. Air pressure dislodges the fins from their molds. Workers then trim and buff the fins to remove excess rubber. A worker inserts the buckle pin into the fin and a machine crimps the buckles into place over them. An industrial washing machine tumbles the fins to cover them with a silicone solution that removes the dust from the buffing and protects the fins during warehousing. After a worker connects the heel strap, the fins are ready to box up and ship out.